Hello everybody, Jermias Perlman here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I have some exciting news about Goodlock 2018. There is yet again another update where it brings many updates to several of the other applications already here, which is Lockstar, Quickstar, Routines, and Clockface. But they also included Navstar. It's a way you're able to create your own navigation bar. So you can see here, I already added two other icons inside of here. And you can also change the way that those icons look. So one of those additional buttons that I did add in is the ability of turning off my display. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top so you can check out the entire playlist I've made so far for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So let's first talk about how and where you're able to download and install Goodlock 2018. First of all, this one is not inside of the Play Store. It's actually inside of the Galaxy App Store or the Galaxy Essentials. What you wanna do is go inside of your application tray. On the very top right hand side, you will see those three dots, which means more options. And once you're inside of there, you will see the option right here that is called Galaxy Essentials. Now with inside of Galaxy Essentials, this is where you just wanna to go to the search button and just type in Goodlock or Goodlock 2018. And then inside of here, you will notice that this is where you're able to download it. And because I already have it downloaded, that little install button is not there, but I do have a quite a few updates that happens with this application. Now with this update here, it's talking about many or several, or maybe even one of the applications with inside of Goodlock. Now, because I just want to talk about one of the particular applications, um, I already did the download of Navstar, which is the topic of today's video. But if I hit on update, it will be updating all these other ones that is also inside of here. So a fast explanation of what Goodlock 2018 is, if you are brand new to this application, it's one application that's made by Samsung for the Samsung Galaxy devices. It's a collection of multiple application that changes the customizations and pretty much how you're able to interact with your Samsung Galaxy galaxy device. So there is one thing I would like to add as I shot this video, I just started trying to edit this video and noticed that the Galaxy S9 Plus did not have the option of the topic within this video, which is Navstar. So as we've talked about from before with Goodlock 2018, in order for you to have Multistar and now actually Navstar, you do want to have the latest Android operating system or the Android version, which is 8.1. So the Galaxy S9 Plus right over here is running 8.0 with the Samsung experience of 9.0. Now this one right over here, this one that does have Multistar and the Navstar is running Android version 8.1 and 9.5. So when you head over into Goodlock 2018 and you notice that there's a few of these that are missing, this is the reason why. So if you also do wanna try to search for Google and try to find the Navstar APK, it still will not work. You do want to make sure that you are running Android 8.1. So again, one last time, you want 8.1 for Android version for you to actually see all of these options here, which is including Navstar as well as Multistar. So now let's head down and talk about the topic of today's video, which is Navstar. So once you click on Navstar, you get that one installed. Once you open it up, this is where you're able to toggle this on. And then now this is where you're able to change the configuration or the look of your navigation bar. Now, originally you might have one of these on the very top once you do toggle it on. Now, all of these are still set up with the normal configuration of what those buttons do. So this one right here is still going to be home. This will still be the back button and this is still the recent apps. Now, if you like to add more buttons or change kind of where it's positioned on the very bottom, you are able to add a new configuration. So all you have to do is hit on new configuration and then it'll add a brand new one on the very bottom of what you are setting up. So how I have mine set up now is going to be next for media. So if I'm watching YouTube, listening to music on Android Music or Amazon Music or Spotify, you hit that next button and it changes the song without having to go through a widget or the application. I'm also having the ability of turning off my screen and I still kept the recent app home as well as the back button icons. The one thing I do want to mention is that if you do create a new configuration, which I'll show you that here in just one second, if you go down to where yours is created, you can press and hold and you can go inside and edit and make changes. So if you would like to change what you've already created, now let's head up and see exactly what we're able to do and how we're able to reconfigure everything on the bottom. So first off, you have three different tabs on the very bottom. You have your background color, your button layout, as well as the icons that you would like to use. So first off, let's start off with that background color. These will be these lighter pastel type colors 
something that's not too crazy or bold. So once you find one that you are liking, you're gonna move over to the very next tab, which is button layout. So you can have it either set up as default where it's going to be spread across the left, middle, and right. You can also have it completely all right aligned. And if you do that, then basically you cannot add more buttons, but it does make it easier for you to hit that recent apps and everything else. Now, if you're left-handed, you can do the exact same thing. Move all of those buttons to the left-hand side of the navigation bar. So this way you're not reaching across the screen, trying to hit the back or whatever have you. Now, this is the one that I selected, which is adding new button. So you're not able to add a button and then move everything to the right or left. You really have to choose. Do you want it all to be right aligned, left aligned, or add in new buttons? So with inside of here, this is where you're able to change what you would like to add inside of there. Now, the very first one that you do choose is going to be the very first one up right next to that recent apps button. So if you would like to have either your power button and then the internet button, that's what it's going to look like. But if you want the internet button to be over here, you do have to select it first. So internet and then power. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So the very first one you touch will be the very first one that goes to the recent apps. So some of the things you're able to do is your camera. You can also do screen capture. So if you do a lot of camera or a lot of screen capture type stuff, this, these are just really fast short cuts to do exactly that. The rest of everything else is going to be screen off, internet. You also have up, down, left, right. So if you're on the internet, you're on Chrome, you want to scroll up and down pretty easy. Uh, you're able to do that with that up and down. You also have F4, you have F5, which is a refresh of the screen. You also have your key space forward. Here is your media for previous, and then media for forward. This is where you're able to do play and pause. This one right here is open the, no the notification panel. So if you do not want to swipe down, you're able to hit on one button and the notification panel will come down. Then you also have page up and page down. Now, because of my previous configuration, I did use the screen off as well as the media next. I will be doing a couple different icons. So I will be doing the screen capture as well as page down. And so this one right here is definitely going to work with Chrome and everything else. Now let's head over into the icons that will be used. So for the page down, if I don't want that little down arrow, I am able to change it. So I can use this down arrow here if I would like it to scroll down that way. If you like your image of capture for screen capture to be different, you can do it that way too. But for me, that is the regular icon that I know for a fact that stimulates for my brain to read, oh, that is going to be a screen capture. Then you also have recents. Here's your multi-window. So let's say you wanted to change multi-window to something else. Uh, you can change it to this icon over here. Uh, you can change it to pretty much any of these other icons here as well. So for multi-window and everything else in recents, you can almost do a couple houses. Two houses means multi-window or multiple applications or anything else. Um, and so that's pretty much how you're able to change those as well. But I'm going to put it right back to where it was from before. Here's your home and then everything else. Now, once you have everything set up the way you want it to look, this is how you're able to check it out on the very top. You hit on save. And then once you go on the very bottom, you'll select the one that you just created and then you hit on your home. And so now you're using that uh, configuration of pretty much everything you did for the navigation bar is now on the very bottom. So you have that down arrow for the down page, um, which actually over here, it's actually changing um, the pages of my home screens as well. So I'm gonna play with that and see what all it kind of changes and, and, and does like that. So here's this as well too, what we talked about from before when I asked you to subscribe, um, here is the down button. So that's not really working there, but you can see here for the adaptive display or the adaptive colors, it changed it because I'm, I, I am using the dark mode of YouTube on this phone. And then just to test out one of these other buttons, you do have the screen capture. So once you hit on screen capture, it just took a picture of what I was looking at. And so that right there is just proving that it is also serving as a shortcut. Now, because I do want to test that down page icon, it did not work with that previous page. Um, I went on Google Chrome and basically on, on here, I'm looking at the normal website of Social Blade. I'm checking out my channel. Uh, and so I'm going to hit down page. And so it actually does work definitely. Uh, and if I had the up arrow here, I would definitely go up. Um, but other than that, you can see that all these buttons down here are working with the applications accordingly and the way that they should. So now with all those demos done, let's head back over into my recent applications. Let's go back over into GoodLock 2018. I am going to move this right back over into my normal configuration of what I did set up previously, which is the media next as well as the power off, just makes it super simple. And just remember again, if there's any of these that you do want to edit or you want to delete, you are able to go through, press and hold, you'd be able to delete it. And then now you're right back to where you were from before. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also write a comment below the video, letting me know how 
will you configure your navigation bar on the very bottom? Other than that, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button right over here. You can subscribe with that little red circle. You can share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.